Why did they then raise it as a key audit matter? The probe into Bank of Uganda's closure of the seven banks by the Committee on Commissions, Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises, COSASE, began in November 2018 and ended earlier this year. Some matters like those relating to the compensation of the closed bank's shareholders and directors were never concluded and were referred to the committee's incoming leadership. However, a concerned citizen, Michael Wissinger, says this is illegal and a waste of time and taxpayers' money. Because we spent a lot of money on that, on that probe as uh, taxpayers and we think what they are doing is illegal. This committee does not have power to re-examine its own reports. Because as a committee, we should not try to, to get the shine from the previous one. There are so many state, uh, enterprises and authorities and commissions that they can look at. They can look at. Ibrahim Kasozi, the chairperson of the subcommittee that was set up by Munyagwa to continue the probe into the central bank, says further inquiries have to be made because that was one of the recommendations of the former committee. That committee referred some issues to the new committee. Among them, these uh, petitioners, those who petitioned the uh, Bank of Uganda, they had their mortgages which they had refused to give them. Because the, the other committee referred them to, to us. Why did they finish the old issues and we start, we start afresh? Busing is determined to forward the case to courts of law if the Speaker's office does not address the issues raised in his petition. We are very hopeful that the Speaker's office will, will take our matter very serious. And if they don't, then uh, we shall go to court. According to Wasinje, a new probe in two Bank of Uganda could also give the implicated officials some room to evade taking responsibility. Andrew Chamagero, NT.